Hi, welcome back to another episode of Magic Maths. I am Subhi from Shitis Tutorials, Wagbil Thane. Today I am going to teach you one very interesting topic. How to represent rational numbers or fractions on number line. Most of the students ask me, Sir, we find great difficulties on representing a rational number or fraction on number line. So today I am going to teach you that this topic in a very efficient way. So today is the first part. So today we will learn how to represent a proper fraction on number line. Now what is a proper fraction? Most of you know the proper fraction numerator is smaller and denominator is bigger. So always remember there are two types of proper fraction. One is positive proper fraction, example 4 by 7 and this negative proper fraction example is minus 5 by 8 now please please do remember a positive proper fraction always lies between 0 and plus 1 and negative proper fraction will always lie between 0 and minus 1 so in this case 4 by 7 is positive proper fraction so it will lie between 0 and plus 1 and in this case minus 5 by 8 is a negative proper fraction so it will lie between 0 and minus 1 so let us start you will understand very easily so first let us draw a number line this point is 0 always remember the right hand side of the number line is positive and the left hand side of the number line is negative so this is positive side and this is negative side so now, this is one positive one and this is negative one. So now, the important point to be understood. Here the denominator is 7. So this number will lie between 0 and 1. I have already told. So now, as the denominator is 7, we will divide this gap by 6. Always, whatever the denominator is, fill the gap by less than 1. So here denominator is 7, so you will fill this gap by 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And in this case the denominator is 8, so less than 1 means 8 minus 1, 7. So you will fill this gap by 7. Again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So now in this case, the numerator is 4. So, always you have to count from 0. So, this is positive side. So, I will count from this side. So, 1, 2, 3 and this one is 4. So, this will represent 4 by 7. And for this case, again I will count from 0. But in the left side, as it is negative number. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. This. So, this number will represent minus 5 by 8. So, it is very easy how to represent a proper fraction on number line. I hope it has served your purpose. In the next episode, we will learn more about mixed fraction, how to represent on number line. Thank you.